Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, Rosana. Hi, teacher. How are you? Todo bien, teacher. ¿Y usted qué tal está? Good, good. <laughs> Very good. We are just waiting for you to get connected. Yeah, but it, it's, it's good to see you there, here. You, you didn't show up yesterday, right? You didn't connect it yesterday. Rosana? Hello, teacher. Usted no estuvo ayer en la clase, ¿cierto? Ah, eh, primero porque estaba lloviendo bien recio. Ah, really? Y se, y se iba la corriente y no tenía cargado el teléfono. Ah. <laughs> no me pude conectar. Ajá, ajá. Se encarga el teléfono y lo que conectaba y hacía todo lo demás. O busque, porque tengo una batería portátil, pero saber en dónde, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Entonces okay. ya no puedo. Ah, ok. Ok. So that, then that's why. That's why. Ok. Ok. That's cool. Uh, hi, good evening, Maritza. How do you feel today? Sí. Good evening, everybody. I, I, very good. You feel better today? Ah, oh, that's good. You feel I, great? I, I am stable. Ah, um, that's, that's, that's good. How about the headache? A, li, a, li, a little headache and uh, uh -huh. um, a little tired. Um, okay. A little headache and you feel like a little bit tired. But it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's just like that, right? But mm -hmm. you have, do you have the shots? Do you have the vaccine already? What? Yeah, pero ya tiene las vacunas usted? Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, ya estoy vacunada. Ah, so then that's why. Ajá, eso ha ayudado mucho entonces. Sí, bastante. A que no se haga, ajá, a que no se haga peor. Sí, exacto. Okay, but that's, that's obligada descansando. Yes, uh -huh. that, I was about to say that. Okay. <laughs> okay, but that's good. But that's good. At least, I mean, you, you feel good, all right? Mm -hmm. And you will feel better in the, no, in the following days. Probably you will be okay by the next week. That is good. Right? Thank you. That's nice. All right, Thank Marisa. you, teacher. Okay. Thank you ah. for asking. <clears throat> no problem. Hi, Eric. How was it? Hi, teacher. Good Hola. evening. <laughs> Uy, con todo, pues. Gran salzón. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm very tired. <laughs> That's why uh, you started listening to, 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 to music. And say, me, me, Did you feel I music do, uh, relax you? Uh, yes, um, I like uh, music. No sé cómo dice variada. Pero... Variety of music. Mm -hmm. No la ah. escucho. No la escucho salsita. Me fascina. Uh, pop, uh, rock. Este, when you talk about pop, what kind of music, I mean, what kind of singers eh, or bands do you like? Que, mire de todo porque le puedo escuchar este, como que 
Eh, ¿Qué le puedo decir? Los nombres de los grupos soy, soy muy malo. Ajá, pero, ajá. Vaya, pero puedo escuchar que... Eh, ¿Cómo es que se llaman? Ah, ¿Cómo se llaman estos babos? Me olvida cómo se llaman. Pero, <risa> sí, ando, que ando, ando bien directo. Los eh, tigres ando, del norte, Eric. También, también los escucho, no creas. Sí, sí me gusta. Ahí, eh, eh, le escucho, eh, ¿qué? Enanito Verde. Es, ah, este, bueno, eh, la, la agua en el verde. Eh, escucho, eh, ¿qué? Gonguana, le escucho este ACDC, Kiss, Metallica, eh, eh, le escucho qué, eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Cultura profética. Eh, ah, ok. Ah. Eh, eh, o sea, de todo un poco, este, los fabulosos Cadillacs, me gusta eh, esto, eh, ¿cómo es que llaman esto, loco? Música bueno. argentina también me gusta. Ah, mira, ah, va, variado. Ah, wow. hasta, hasta los guaraguas lo puedo escuchar, me gusta, me gusta la música folclórica, la música andina me gusta también. Ajá. Sí, no, me, me gusta por la música, no tiene fronteras. No, nah, mira, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Sí. Yeah. Eh, de todo un poco, hasta acabar los Tigres del Norte, Vicente Fernández, <risa> todo. <risa> o sea, sí. Ya, nah, no, mira, why not? Sí, no, claro. I'm y ahorita. Exactly the same. Ah, pues igual, o sea, me gusta. Y depende del estado de ánimo y como para relajarse. Música, música tranquila, eh, de todo un poco. I do even listen uh, like piano covers. Like when I came out um, of sleep, I, I do that. Sí, I do really. It. It's really, really relaxing. Uh, uh, a mí me gusta, eh, ¿cómo es que llama esta chava? Karen Sousa. Me gusta la música. Ah, ya, me she plays really good. Ah, para que vea que no le miento. Ya, yeah, I mira, mean, uh, that's, that's true. Sí. Me, me gusta todo, de todo un poco. Le escucho. Ah, that's nice. Y lo que pasa es que, hey, lo que, pasa es que ahorita estos días es un día bien estresante. Mm -hmm. fin, yeah, I mean, fin, like... de, fin de mes, tengo varios compañeros que han caído ahorita mm. enfermos. Ya, I, 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 uh, I mean, aguas. I was checking good that in good evening, uh, Jonathan. Good evening. And uh, basically, the cases are going up. And I don't know why. I mean, I think it's because people think just because they got the two shots, they think that they can go from one place to another without face masks. And they are like on the street. You can see a lot of people on the street and they don't use face masks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's what the what that that that's why we have that that amount of uh, you know people infected now. Because yes, even yeah. me, I have a lot of class. Uh, I mean, worker, uh, you know, like the one who work with me, that are sick, that they are in their house because of that. Divide que en la ahí en oficina la semana pasada cayó una señora el Sábado despacharon a un compañero, el lunes, o sea, ayer ya no llegó otra compañera. Ajá. Este, y, ah, no, miento, el viernes despacharon a otro Ajá. y el sábado se fue, el sábado se fue con un compañero allí del área, del área. Ajá. Nosotros somos cuatro Ajá. Y, y él se fue el sábado. Ajá. Y de este sábado no sabemos nada, no nos contesta el teléfono, no sabemos nada de él. Entonces nosotros estamos con esa incertidumbre de que, imagínese, si sí, que, les... que, que pasará con él. Entonces estamos esperando que pasen los cinco días para ver si nosotros nos hacemos la prueba, a ver si, si, sal, si sacamos premio. Wey. Entonces, eh, pero sin embargo, como yo les digo a mis compañeros, esa es cuestión de motivación, ¿verdad? Si, uh -huh. si yo, me, si yo me, mentalmente me pongo de que estoy enfermo y que ya me voy a hacer pedazos, la voy a regar. Exacto. Entonces, no, esperemos que el tiempo pase. Pero el problema es que se nos recarga a los demás el trabajo. Ya, yeah, I mean, that's the problem. That's the main problem. Ya, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, if I'm not grown, Jonathan was going through that situation. Because Jonathan was telling me, if I don't remember last week, that 
I don't remember if, if there were four, two of his uh, co-workers that were sick, right, Jonathan? Usted que me comentó que varios de sus compañeros de trabajo estaban enfermos, también. Sí. Yeah, right. Bastante. Nah, you see. Todavía no han llegado. Uh -huh. Es más, otro se fue. <risa> es que es que bien complicado, fíjese que nosotros en una sucursal, cinco, cinco de entre vendedores y de la bodega se fueron el mismo día. Bueno. Cinco de un solo. Eso está bien, fe, bien feito, creo. Yeah, that's kind of a, yeah, like horrible la, because la cuestión es que esas personas ya están vacunadas. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that supposedly those people, uh -huh, they get the shots and I mean, I don't understand why, why they, they slow down like, you know, like the rules that they had to follow and that's why they got infected. The thing is that people nowadays have lost Uh, you know, that fear that they have for the virus. That's the thing. Ahora prácticamente las personas han perdido el miedo al, uh, al virus. And that's why. That's why that's happening. But let's see what happens. A ver qué pasa más adelante. So let's see. Okay. So let's see. De hecho, hay unos, hay unos hay municipios, a... unos municipios que estaba oyendo yo que ya los a nivel municipal han tomado la, la decisión de cerrarlos ahí en Chalatenango, creo que hay Actually, uno they que have already closed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was reading that, that news. That's true. Yeah. That's true. They were closing. And they will open until October the 3rd or something like that. Next week, actually. That is, that, that, that was weird. That was very weird. But let's see, as I told you, let's see what happens. Anyways, so let's let's start, people. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer, you did that. See, eso pasó. I I could imagine. Lo imaginé. Lo siento, teacher. Yo estaba diez minutos antes, quizás. Dije yo, voy a cerrar mis ojos cinco minutos. Big problem. Y eso, <risa> llegaron las 10.30 y despierto y me quedo la clase. Ya habían cerrado todo. Yo, qué pena, qué vergüenza. Ya, yeah, sí. Sí, sí, sí muy tuve que ponerla. Ya, yeah, I mean, I can tell. Uh, yeah, most of you were tired. We were, we were basically tired. Even though it was Monday, just imagine starting the week and we were very tired. Yeah, that was. And besides that, it was raining in there. Yeah, I mean, the perfect weather to sleep, right? <laughs> But, anyways, the good Activo thing. Automático. Huh? El piloto automático activó. Y... Exactly, Seren. exactly. That was, that was. Uh... <laughs> 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 They wanted to. She... That's it, put in it, right, Jennifer? Yeah, because uh, I. Si didn't... uno no es comprobado que si no tengo encendida la cámara, me duermo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. I, I, I will let you know later on. So if I see you turning on your camera, so I will tell you, hey, don't fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's start, people, with the things that we got for tonight. We got a new topic. We got new new things to, to, to practice. So let's start with the attendance, please. So let me see, we got an next Claribel, and uh, she's not here, Ana Maria neither, Carlos Ademir. Ah, oh, yeah, he's there. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, Carlos. Eric Guillermo. Present. Okay, nice. Ever de Jesus. Present teacher. There you go, Fatima, Alejandra, she's here, not yet. Uh, let's see, Hilmar Cruz. Hey, what's that, Hilmar, he's not connected yet. Mm. 
Jonathan Alexander. Present. All right. Jorge Elvir. I need it, Jorge. It's not here. Carla Benazir. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Marca Fernandez. Um, yes, it's not here. Marita Alcira. Present, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Natalie Vanessa. No, she's not connected yet. Romeo Alexis. It is not connected, right? Rosa del Carmen. Present. Hi, Rosa. Good to see you. Finally. Because yesterday I didn't see you. My God. <laughs> Let's see. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Let me check. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Ah, yeah, she's there. All right, Sara. Good. Let's check. Stephanie Lisette. And she's not here yet, right? Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, teacher. It's good to see you again. Let me check. We got William Alberto. I mean, William is not here. Actually, he changed his status. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. No, okay. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. No, okay. Jennifer Noemi. Present teacher. All right. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Everything Diana is not here yet. Oh, no, she's not here. No, okay. What are we going to do right now, people? We're going to start with a short, give me a second, with a short presentation that we're going to have. And right after this, we're going to start off uh, with some extra activities. Just to confirm, let me know if you can see my presentation. Can you see my presentation, people? Pueden ver mi presentación? Yes. No, okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's remember, this is the video conference number nine. Okay, one more and we finish basically the first half of this module. So today's topic is going to be how to use would and would like to. I know that we have been uh, using this structure. And if you remember, you saw this structure on the previous module. module. Right, we were like discussing a, um, something kind of similar to to would and uh, would like to, with the only difference that uh, back in the past module it was would you mind now it's would like to, but it's pretty similar in you know in meaning. So let's continue. So let's see what we're gonna have for tonight. The first thing that we're gonna be doing or talking about is the class agenda. And what do we have here? As always, we're gonna start off with a review from the previous topic, okay? A review from the previous topic. Right after that, we're gonna have a question to discuss. I have a question for you to discuss, okay? Right after the question to discuss, we're gonna start off with the uses, okay? Or the most common examples of how to create uh, you know, like sentences in positive statements and negative statements and questions using would and would like to, okay? That will be. Then we're gonna have some examples, okay? And right after that, we're gonna have some exercises. And to find, a, you know, like, like, like a final thing, we're gonna check those exercises. This is pretty much what we have for tonight. What are we gonna do now? Let's start with the review from the previous topic, okay? Good. What do we remember from the previous topic? What was the name of the structure that we were discussing yesterday? Use the may and might. Ah, okay, when, uh, uh, okay. In that case, when we use may and might, right? The uses of may and might. There you go. What else do you remember, people? 
besides what Jennifer said? What else do we remember? When do we use May? When do we use May? Do you remember that? For uh, affirmation. Ah, for affirmation, May? Ability. Okay. okay, that's another one for ability. Uh -huh. Possibility too. And also for possibility, there you go. So you got the keywords in there. Okay, now let's see. Can somebody give me an example using may as a, to give permission? When we use it to give permission? Can you give an example about that? When we give a permission? Because you said that we use may when we give permission, right? May I go to the park? May. Or the meeting, the meeting may be early in the morning. Okay, all right. Let, let's start with the one that said Nubia and then the one that ever says. Let me see, Nubia, what was it? May I go to? The park. May I go to the park? Let me, let, let, let me uh, write down yours ever. What do you say? The meeting. Uh huh. Maybe. Maybe. Eh, ¿cómo le dije? <laughs> maybe. Eh, maybe er early in the morning or early tomorrow. All right. The meeting might be early tomorrow. What are you expressing in this sentence, Ever? Are you expressing? A possibility? Are you expressing a permission? Are you expressing uh, something else? Or a formal request? What are you expressing there, Ever? Possibility. Exactly. In that case, you are expressing a possibility. And why a possibility? Because you are not sure if the meeting is going to be early tomorrow. So you are expressing a possibility. Very good, Ever. There you go. Nubia, when you say, may I go to the park, what are you expressing? Are you expressing possibility? Are you expressing request? Are you expressing permission? Permission. You permission. permission. Let me check. May I go to the park? <coughs> okay. But in that case, it's like when you... Let me check in here. When you request a permission. Okay. Aquí es cuando nosotros pedimos permiso para hacer algo. In this one is to express. Possibility. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now. When are we expressing. Okay. Or giving permission. For another person to do something. Ah, when you when you say something like this, remember, you can leave work early today. So you see, in this case, we are basically giving permission. Okay. En esta oración, aquí sí ya estamos dando un permiso. No estamos pidiendo permiso, estamos dándolo. ¿Ok? You can leave work early today. Ah, puedes irte ahora temprano. ¿Ok? Del trabajo. You see? Ok. This is uh, related with the uses of May. ¿Ok? In this case, this is May, actually. Excuse me, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> My God. Está lloviendo aquí. Ajá, ajá. Ok. <laughs> That's right. Me están lloviendo problemas. Ah, bueno, ya decía yo. No era el agua, sino que otra cosa. Okay, no problem, Emma. The good thing is that you are here now. Okay? There you go. Okay, now, when do we use might? Info. This is just about the uses of may. But when do we use might? Might. 
might, let's remember, is likely similar to May. Okay. Is likely similar to May. How come? I might, I might go. Uh, I might go to the party. What are we expressing in this case? I am expressing a possibility about something to happen. Okay. She might uh, ask for a what? A new product. Hi, good evening. Who's joining the class? Ah, Jorge. There you go. So let me see who else is coming. Ah, you got Jorge. Ah, and Fatima. Hi, Fatima. I didn't see you coming. I was checking on you. Okay, good. So, I might go to the party. That's one example. Uh, then we got she might ask for a new product. What are we expressing in here? We are expressing a possibility about something, okay? We are expressing in this type of examples, a possibility. So this was part of what we were discussing yesterday, if you remember, okay? This part, it's what we basically were uh, talking about yesterday during the class. Now, let's see some extra examples that, that I bring here. May and might. Let's see some examples, right? But before the examples, I got this, just for you to remember. The both, you know, may and might, are used to express possibility and formal request. When do we express formal request? When we ask questions, okay? Or when we express permissions, as Nubia was saying, okay? Like, may I go, listen up, may I go to, you know, like, to Guatemala, for example, right? So what are we expressing in there? We are expressing a formal request. Estamos haciendo una solicitud formal. ¿De qué? De permiso. In that case, right? We are requesting something. And then in this case, it's permission. We got some examples in here. Okay. Ah, let's see. Para, help me out reading this example. The first one. <coughs> Boy teacher, que este me cuesta, este teléfono me está fallando. Oh. I may go to a store today. Okay, I may go to the store today. Okay, there you go. So in that case, what are we expressing in that case? A possibility. A possibility about what? About that person to go to a store today. Okay, good. Carla? Let's read, Carla. She may want a refund for the damage. Damage. Oh, yeah, I see. Damage. 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 Product. Uh -huh. Product. There you go. Product. Carla. Yes. All right. She might want a refund for the damaged product. Okay. What does it mean? Or how do you interpret this sentence? ¿Cómo interpretamos esta oración? Can somebody tell me how do you understand this sentence? According to what we were discussing last class. ¿Ya podría querer una, un reembolso de su producto por el producto dañado? There you go. Very good. That's the way how we can interpret this type of a statement. Okay. Remember that the translation of might is basically podría, okay? That's the translation. And then we got the word refund. Refund is reembolso, all right? And we got damaged product. Damaged product significa productos dañados, okay? Producto dañado. That is, okay, damaged product. Okay. Possibility, teacher? 
Exactly. We're expressing about, uh, uh, in that case, a possibility. A possibility of what? To get back the money that you give to the store for the product. Okay. There you go. Then we have another example. Fatima, help me reading. They not provide. They may not provide a good service. Now, okay, thank you. They may not provide a good service. What does it mean? Ah, ellos no pueden proveer un buen servicio. Okay. What are we expressing in that case? Something that certainty is true or a possibility, okay? Just remember, if something like a store sells bad products, nobody else is going to buy in there again. So probably you will see very few people buying in that store. So you can say these type of examples, right? They might not provide a good service. That's why they don't have people or they don't have customers. So in that case, we use may. And also we can use might in the same example and there's no problem. And we get the last one in here. Jorge, help me read the last one. He may not buy in that store again. Nah, okay. He might not buy in that store again. How do you interpret that uh, statement, Jorge? Posiblemente no vuelva a comprar en esta tienda. Mm -hmm. Nuevamente. And what will be the reason for that person not to buy again in that store? Uh, maybe the service is bad or the product is bad or the another, I don't know, maybe problem for the, the buy. Ah, okay, that will be, right? One of the most problems that some, some store have is that they have a very bad uh, customer service. Right? Even that happens when you go a, a, to the gas stations. For example, here by the place where I live, there is a gas station, but I don't like to put gas on it because even if they have very few cars on the line, you have to wait for about 10 minutes for they to fill your tank. I mean, the customer service in there, I mean, it's very horrible. Yeah, I mean, and, and every time I put gas on it and they spend like a lot of time, what I do is like just to, to, to send the, you know, like the, the survey that is in the application of, of uh, the company. Yeah, I mean, and I give a bad grade because I mean, they, they got a very horrible customer service. So what happened in that case, if you know, or, or if you have been treated very bad when you go and buy a product you probably in a future won't go to buy again to that store okay so in that case we can use a possibility to talk about that okay so in that case we can use may or might okay so basically that was the topic from yesterday now let's stop in here a little bit with the uh, feedback and let's start with what really matters today Let's start with a short question to discuss. And this question is for everybody, okay? Check this out. Uh, who can help me out reading? Maritza, help me out reading, please. What would you, what would you do for the customer if a product you offer in, is it's not, not in good condition. Ah, okay. Right after that, what you have to do? Ah, you have to write three possible solutions for the customer. Okay, how come? Listen, let's think. What would you do for the customer if a product you offer is not in good condition? Okay, ¿qué harían ustedes? Okay, listen up. ¿Qué harían ustedes? O sea, ¿qué, qué en este caso? ¿Cómo le eh, venderían ustedes al cliente okay, algo que prácticamente está dañado? Ustedes saben que no está en buen, buenas condiciones. Okay. 
¿Qué harían ustedes eh, para que el cliente no salga hablando mal de su tienda? Si en este caso ustedes estuviesen en una tienda. Y ustedes saben que el producto de Senap, que el producto okay, que ustedes están ofreciendo no está en buenas condiciones. Offeron oh, replacement. A uh, replacement. Sí. Offer replacement. Okay, so you will change it for another product, but how would you do that to the customer? How would you tell that to the customer? Low the price, teacher. Low the price? Low the price. Ah, you mean offer a discount. <laughs> now, okay, that would be one option. Okay, to give a discount. Okay, what else? What else would you do? Okay, listen up. Quiero que en su cuaderno ahí me escriban tres cortas. Tres posibles cosas que ustedes harían para ese cliente. What would you do? Write three things. Okay. Using any, any, you know, like if you're selling anything, but let's suppose you work in sales and the product that you offer is not in good conditions. Okay. It can be about anything, but the product that you offer is not in good conditions. So how or what would you offer to the customer in that case? Right, Rosa? Teacher, one question. Uh -huh. Is this product is, an, is a car? <laughs> it can be, but... listen, listen, listen to me. It can be clothes, it can be cars, it can be whatever you want. Okay, maybe apply the Autio, 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 uh, Subasta. Ajá, ajá, ajá. But, but, but let's suppose uh, uh, that if you, if you do that, probably you will lose money. Mm, yeah, maybe. maybe. This is a one reason. Ajá. Okay. Auction. Yeah, because if you, if you put in it like, like, you know, like in auction, <laughs> the price will low down in that case. So let me know when you finish. When you got the three things, just let me know. <laughs> finish, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Very good. Who else has finished? Maritza, do you finish? Finish. No. Okay, let's keep going. All right, thank you, Sara. Finish. Okay, perfect. Let's wait for the other ones. Roxana, Rosa, Vanessa, Ruth, Carlos, Diana, ¿cómo vamos? Ya casi, teacher. No, ok, cool. How about the rest? ¿Los demás? One is missing, ok, very good, Jonathan. Okay, good. Let's see, what are we going to do? Mm, okay, just give me a second. I'm going to put this kind of bigger. Mm. Okay. So in the meantime, while you're finishing, let's let's work with the ones that has already finished. So and then I'm gonna start with uh, let's see. I'm gonna start with Nubia. 
All right, Nubia, can you tell me the three things or the three possible things that you will do in that case? Uh, num the number one is uh, change the product product for mm -hmm. another product. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> another uh, low the price. Ah, lower the price. Okay, that will be another. In another, one. extend the guarantee. Extend the guarantee. No, okay. You keep the price, but you extend the guarantee. No, okay. Good. Thank you, Nubia. <coughs> okay. All right, Eric. What will you do? Okay, for sure. Uh, number one, offer uh, a discount. Mm -hmm. Number two, give an extra product <laughs> as a gift. And, ah, number ah. and number three, give a, 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 a discount coupon, coupon, coupon uh -huh. on, next, on next purchase. Uh -huh. And what happens if the client tells you, Eric, no, I don't want a coupon for an extra a uh, product, I want something from this product. Mm. Okay, entonces ahí en ese caso le puedo ofrecer um, buy, uh, three pro, uh, buy two products and I give one extra product. Mm. No, okay, okay. Like, you know, like, like, aha, uh -huh, like something extra. No, okay. I'll buy that one. Okay. Whatever. I mean, Eric, uh, just give me a second. Uh -huh. Mariana Menendez, can you please turn on your camera? I want to see who you are. Who's Mariana Menendez? Come on. I just, I just see uh, Maria over there, no Mariana. You're speaking and your microphone is off. Ay, lo siento. Ana Maria al revés es Mariana. Ana, let me see. Ana Iram, nah, you're lying. Mariana. Ana María. Ah, okay. es, que se me, es que le dije a mi hija que me conectara, entonces ella no cambia el nombre, ella siempre lo deja así. Ah, but change it to your name because I cannot tell you Mariana. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. let's change it. There you go. Okay, sí, sí. cool. Uh, let's see, Hilmar. Let's start with you, Hilmar. Yeah. Number one, uh, offer, offer free placement. Yeah, number two, offer discount first, first, percentage. Percentage? Without, uh -huh, without warranty. Ah. Number three, offer select another product. Ah, okay. Select another product. Eh, el número dos me pasó a mí. <laughs> really? Sí, eh, How was your experience? Fui en ferretería, quería comprar un lavatrasto más grande, pero tenía un doblón. Ajá. Uh -huh. y, y cabal, las tres cosas estas me ofreció. <laughs> Escoja otro. No, yo ese quiero. Ah, bueno. <coughs> Le vamos a traer otro nuevo. ¿Y ese? ¿Por cuánto me lo da? <laughs> Ah. 30% menos, pero sin garantía. Ah, está bueno. <laughs> <laughs> ok, ok. Yeah. Ok, that was a good bargain. Prueba en vidri o fresa. Gran, gran, gran business. Ah. Gran, yeah. gran, gran business el que estaba eso, haciendo. El a eso se le llama eh, venta de, de, de contado. <laughs> venta y, de contado. Y al final solo con un martillito de hule. Le quité el doble pico y ya estuvo. Eso. Ajá, en vidrio, pues. Sí, hay ofertas buenas en vidrio. Si tú lo das sí, más sí. como damage, eh, ellos te lo dan más barato. Valía 75 y me lo dejaron como en 50. Oh, oh. Good. That was good, man. That was really good. 
<laughs> that is nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, good. Uh, let's see who else. Hmm. Fatima, what will you tell to your customer, Fatima? Uh, number one is lower price. Okay, the lower lower the price. Uh huh. Uh, warranty in chains of product. Mm -hmm. uh, and half price of product. What do you mean by that? Uh, como mitad de precio del producto. Ah, you 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 mean to give the 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 product in half of the price? No. Yeah. Mm, okay, uh -huh. depending on what kind of product is that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you, Fatima. Ever? In your case, Ever? In my case, uh, the first one, sell them as spare parts, number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, sell it and give it a how do you say, uh, regalia or like a free gift? Yeah, that's like a bonus, right? That goes with the product. It's like a bonus, okay? Yeah. And number uh -huh. three, uh, reduce the price or 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 prices, the cost cost price. The cost. The cost price. Nah, okay. Uh -huh. That can be another option. Okay, good. Thank you, Ever. Hmm, let's see who else. Jonathan, what would you say to, to your customer if something like that happened to you? Um, I might change the product. Maybe repair the product with new piece, five, no sé cómo se dice. Ah? Uh, cuando, yeah, la primera dijo, uh, my change the product. Aha, that's, not, that, that's one option. Okay, you might change the product. Maybe repair the product with this new. Now, okay, to replace the product with a new one. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, you are the phone. Mm, okay, all right, that might be possible. It, just in case if you have, a, a, you know, an extra product. Okay, good. Thank you, Jonathan. Huh. Sara, what would you do? Just teacher, um, on this one, uh, the widows are uh, raffle. Give a refund. Ah, uh, okay. Uh huh. That will be something good. Uh huh. The uh, mean um in chains for chains. Mm -hmm. Okay, change the percentage. Ah, ah, um, ah, okay. uh, a promotion, uh, three for one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, también. So, it's one of the things that, but the session at a client. Ah, ah, ah. Una de las cosas que me toca es cuando, por ejemplo, se va a vencer una cerveza, se le aclara al cliente que va con un buen descuento, pero sin derecho a retorno, a devolver el producto. Avise cuando sea eso. Ah, that's pretty cool. Sí. Como cuando yes. fui a comer a cierto lugar y, y, y pedí un jugo, you know, like, un jugo, y el jugo, Estaba vencido y yo vine a ver la fecha de vencimiento hasta que, ya, hasta que ya lo había, o sea, ya me lo había tomado todo. Lo gracioso es que yo pensé que era reciente eh, eh, la fecha de vencimiento y tenía cuatro meses de vencido. Recién <risa> exprimido. <risa> ya, ay, gama. Ya es tipo chicha. Ya, y así como que. Ah, me estoy sintiendo enfermo, ya, ya era algo mental, obviously, right? But, but I, I was like kind of angry with that type of uh, place because if you have, a, you know, a kind of restaurant, you cannot sell expired things, expired products. You have to check them, right? 
obviously they they didn't charge uh, the the you know like the drink and the food. It was for free, but I was with that that probably something is going to happen to me. At the end, nothing happened, but that was not a kind of good experience. All right. <laughs> Okay, good. Por lo menos usted Sara le dice, ay, there's a discount in here in this case. Okay. Sí, de hecho salen averías y, y de igual se les informa a los clientes si quieren tomarlas así. No, that's pretty cool. Sí, más con descuento. Es cuando salgan más averías. <laughs> sí, hay variedad. Que ofrece el grupo, dice primero antes de. And Jorge is very interested on in that, right, Jorge? Yeah. Maybe cuando salgan la Heineken o, o alguna estela, avise. Yeah, la Heineken es bien difícil que se venza. Es una de las que más. Pero sí ponen en descuento es menos país. <laughs> ok, Jorge. It's a joke, ¿verdad? <laughs> Some smart enough, Jorge. Ok, that would be oh, good. Sentí como que me dijeron no. <laughs> ok, ok. Oh, oh. Ok. <laughs> Vanessa, how about you, Vanessa? What would you tell to your client, uh, in that case, customer? Okay, teacher. Um, in my case, um, the other price offer a special discount. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. That would be a one, right? And a special discount. Okay. What else? Okay. And the offer home delivery and get it from another store in a good condition. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Or um, get in a good condition from another store. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Might be possible. Uh -huh. Some clients might say yes, yeah. some of them might be saying no, I don't want to wait. Okay, <laughs> they offer a special discount teacher <laughs> yeah i mean like they they go with an a special discount mm -hmm. might be possible okay good vanessa ah, maritza how about you mm, in my case change the product or give extra product ah, okay something or, extra uh -huh. or or apply a discount now okay uh -huh. that's another option apply a discount if discount. if it is in your hands maritza how much uh you know how much would you put as a discount 10 percent 20 percent 25 30 percent um let's suppose 50 let's suppose 50. that you are selling let's suppose that you're selling a refrigerator and the refrigerator costs $500. Would you give it to that person the 50% discount? Indeed. 30%? No, okay, that might be acceptable, right? Like a 30%. Yeah, because giving 50%, that's a lot of money mm -hmm. that you have to lose. Yeah, I mean, that you have to lose. No, okay. Good action, Maritza. Very good. Okay. Let me see who else is speaking. Jennifer. I have never sold anything. And here's our sales express. Uh -huh. But uh, I try. <laughs> um, my first option is offer it cheaper. Okay. Uh -huh. Something cheaper with the, you know, like by lowering the price. Uh huh. The second option, accompany it with another product. Uh -huh. okay. give, give another product. Uh -huh, to provide another product, okay. And shorten the warranty or sell without warranty, but more cheaper. Nah, to put it cheaper, but with no warranty. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, that would be a good option too. Right, to give a shipper, but with no warranty. Okay, yes. acceptable in some cases. All right, there you go. Huh. Let's see who else. Rosa, what would you say? Or what would you do in that case?
um, sorry, uh, discount on the product. Uh -huh. The second product has price mm -hmm. and change the product. And? And change the product. Change the product. Ah, okay. Yo no sé de eso, porque yo no trabajo de eso, pero... You have an idea. Uh -huh, that's why I told you. Imagine if you work in sales. Okay, good. Uh -huh. There you go. Let's see who else. Diana? How about you, Diana? Yes. What would you Teacher. do, Diana? Me conecté un poquito tarde, pero creo que he entendido más o menos. Ajá, ajá. Le voy a dar mis ejemplos. Ok. Uh, chain of the product for two factory detect. Ajá, ajá. Uh, I can a play a discount. Quiero decir que aplico descuento. Ah, you can apply a discount. Ajá. Uh, o también ofrezco una gift card. Ah, ofrezco gift card. Ok, you offer a gift card. Ok. Solo eso. From a gift card. <laughs> In where? Selectos, Pizza Hut, El Campero, I mean, also Campero, whatever. And that might be all right. <laughs> I mean, Pollo Campero, that's a one hour. Forget about the other one. Okay. I mean, that, that might be possible. Very good. There you go, Diana. Okay. Roxana, what would you do? Roxana, are you there? Uh, mis ejemplos. Be honest and tell, tell him the detail of the product. Uh -huh. Eh, número two. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. As clearance. Eh, three. Add a royalty. Ok. Uh -huh. So basically what you're trying to say that at the beginning of that you will be very honest with the person, in this case your customer, and you will tell, hey, look, Mrs. Customer, uh, this product is damaged and for that reason I can apply you a discount or I can do something else. Ah, okay. All right. That's acceptable. Thank you, Rosana. Thank you, teacher. Carlos, what will you do, Carlos? Todas las anteriores, no mentira. Eh, I might put it on sale. Uh -huh. I might offer is two for one. No, nah, okay. Uh -huh. and, and I might return money if you do not agree. Okay, you return the money if you uh -huh, you 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 don't agree right with with the bargain or the product or to receive the product that way okay very good carlos nice huh. and uh, natalie what would you do natalie hola teacher hi hi este vaya eh, yo hice quiero ver tres vaya sería Extra product, mm -hmm. a discount on another product, mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Royal, royalty, creo que ese se regalía, ¿verdad? Yeah, royalty. Y ya si no quiere ninguna de las dos, le regreso el dinero. You give back the money? <laughs> <laughs> sí. Refund, refund, creo que es verdad. Yeah, you make a refund. <laughs> Okay. Ah, pues bueno, sí, no. se lo regreso. Ah, pues no quiere eso ni eso. Tome su dinero. <laughs> Here you have. Okay. okay. How you going, Natalie? She's very direct. Carla, did you participate already? Okay, teacher. Uh, yeah. La primera, uh, good offer with discount. Mm -hmm. uh, offer a warranty with little time. 
Aha. Um, an extra on um, no uh, lower the price the product. Mm -hmm. No, okay, huh? To lower the price of okay of the product. That would be like the most suitable, right? For most of uh, the cases, I had to lower the price of the product. Okay. Yes. And let's see who's missing. Ha, huh. Ruth. What will you do, Ruth? Hello, teacher. And um, recommendation, uh, recommend in uh, alternative product. Uh huh. Uh, make. Um, uh, no, is a. Uh, uh, I can't even pronounce it. Advantage and disadvantage. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages and disadvantages. Uh -huh. And <laughs> number three, make you warranty. In, no. The warranty. No. Uh, no. No, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ah, ok. Dar a conocer, right. su, dar a conocer uh -huh. su garantía. To get to know the guarantee. Ok, uh -huh. there you go. That might be one, another option. Thank you, Ruth. Yeah, mm -hmm. And let's see the expert on sale sometimes. Ana Maria, what would you do? You're going to be the last one, Ana Maria. What happened? <laughs> Ay, es que siempre esta cosa Ajá. está complotando contra mí. My, in my case, is the first uh, option sería change of the product. Mm -hmm. Number one. Ajá. Number two, offer the eh, 30, 15% or half price. Uh -huh. And the additional discount in other products. Mm, okay, a discount in other products. Okay, mm -hmm. as part of the bargain. Okay, that would be cool. Oh, sí, así como dijo la Natalie, eh, un día de estos le digo a un cliente yo, uh -huh. este porque no quería, no quería lo que le estaba ofreciendo yo, entonces le digo, vaya, miren, ya su tiempo de garantía de terminó, la garantía terminó, Ajá. y si usted desea cancelar, bueno, si usted no le gusta el servicio, no quiere el servicio, pues puede tomar la decisión de cancelar. ¿El qué? ¿Usted me está diciendo que quiere que cancele? No, yo le estoy diciendo que usted puede tomar esa decisión, o sea, si usted está, si el cliente se está quejando por todo, o sea, nosotros le damos esa opción en loyalty. Ajá, Entonces, ajá. pero salió así todo que me pidió el supervisor. Y yo le dije, señor, yo casi soy supervisora, ¿qué le sucede en loyalty? Eh, no, no le dije así, solo le dije a mi jefa. Solo le dije a mi jefa, mire, quieren hablar con usted de Estados Unidos y... El señor es medio gritón, le dije yo, y se lo voy a pasar, le dije, porque no voy a hacer que la, eh, que la encuesta me ponga algo malo. Le dije. Definitely, the, the, the survey will be bad for you. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I mean, that happens sometimes. Okay, good. Right after I, I, I hear, like, you know, your, your main solutions, let's continue with are gonna be focusing like today. But just give me a second, what time is it? I don't have a fan. I think it's nine, right? I don't have a cell phone with me right now. Is it nine? Okay, good. So I'm gonna stop a little bit in here. I'm gonna press the attendance list the second time, and then we can continue with the uses of wool, or in this case, the examples, how to use wool. Give me a second. I'm gonna pass the attendance list and then we can continue. Uh, 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 uh. So then we got Ana Claribel. Present. Uh, Anna is there? Hey, what's up, Ana? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see you there. 
hey, this it's I, actually I didn't see you because you don't have the camera on. So then that's why I tell you you were not here because last time I checked you were not there. All right, but it's good to 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 have you here. Let's see, Ana Maria. Present. Okay, good. Carlos Ademir. Present. Ah, okay, good. Let's see, Eric Guillermo. Present. Nah, okay, very good. Ah, uh, Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay, nice. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay, great. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Nice. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay, nice. Jorge Elvir. Present. Excellent. Let's see. Carla Benacer. Present. Okay, excellent. So then we got, let me check. Margot Hernandez, which is not here. Maritza Alcira. Maritza, are you there? I, I, I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay. Good. Natalie Vanessa? Present. Okay, very good. Romeo Alexis? Present. Ah, Romeo is here now. Okay, good, Romeo. Rosa del Carmen? Rosa, are you there? Okay, I guess she's not here. Let's move on. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Stephanie Lisette. Present. Ah, okay, good. You're here already. Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Ah, okay, great. Then we got William Alberto. He's not here yet. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Okay, great. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, great. And we got the last one. Diana Gabriela. Present. Present. <laughs> ah, yeah, I mean, I got the double present. Very good. <laughs> ya tengo una nueva, una nueva participante ahí. Okay, that's nice. Know. Ya se le agregó, teacher. Yeah. El, y, 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 y lo gracioso es, el, lo know. curioso es que siempre, ah, yeah, that's, that's her phrase. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Solo <laughs> eso se <de> puede. <laughs> Oh, God. How old is she? Diana? How old is she? ¿Cuántos años tiene? Eh, tiene six. Ah, she is six. Ah, okay. That's pretty good. Está chiquita. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> es un present. Hija. <laughs> okay. All right. She wants to participate like her mother. Okay. That's nice. Okay, now let's start up uh, with the world. Okay, this is gonna be the first one in which we're gonna be uh, focusing on. Okay, and let's see what it talks about. Okay, Eric, help me reading. Okay, sure. Wool. It's used to express possibility in formal request, express a, a desire. Desire, desire. 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 Okay. Yeah. Do you know what is desire? Not sure. Desire means deseo. Or something. Ah, okay. Something. Yeah. Okay. It, it express possibility and formal request and also express a desire. Deseo de ser algo, right? To do something. Examples. <sighs> Jennifer, let's read. 
I would love to work in another another country. Ah, okay, very good. I would love to work in another country. What are you expressing in that case? You are expressing a desire. Aquí que estamos expresando, estamos expresando un deseo. Okay. Will tiene una gran, gran, gran cantidad de usos. Got a lot of them, right? We can even use will to mention the past, right? like past activities, right? But in this case, we're going to focus the most in this one, to express possibility and formal requests, all right? And also desire. It's because, I mean, it has a good and wide variety of things that probably in the future we will be discussing, okay? So that what, okay, that is what the first sentence goes for, okay? To express a desire. Second example, uh, let me check, okay. Romeo, help me a reading, please. I will change this product. I will change this product. Okay, what do you mean in that case? Ah, it's like, like, you know, like that you have the capacity in that case, the possibility to change that product because the product probably is damaged, right? So in that case, it's like, cambiaría este producto, okay? In case you're expressing something, okay? Eh, like kind of in the past, right? But you're expressing a possibility, all right? What is the possibility that in that case you will change the product? For the reason, probably because the product is damaged, probably because the product has missing some parts, etc. Now, we got a question form. Ana Maria, let's read the question form. Will you go with me? Ah, uh, okay. Will you go with me? What is that? In that case, we are expressing a formal request, okay? And the model of answer, you might say, yes, of course, right? Yes, of course. Will you go with me? Irías conmigo? There you go. So you might say, yes, of course. Oh, no, I wouldn't go with you, okay? That depends on you. So let's remember, in that case, when we, ask most of the questions using will is just to, in the case, to express a formal request, okay? It's just to express a formal request. That's what we use it for, okay? So let's suppose uh, you, everybody, right, uh, are co-workers, okay? And probably ever has not finished the report and probably uh, and probably Fatima, let's put Fatima, and probably Fatima has finished and ever needs help. Probably Ever will say, Ever will say, listen up, would you help me finish the report? Listen up, would you help me to finish the report? So in that case, what is Ever asking for? Uh, he is asking, for something. In that case, he is expressing a formal request. In este caso, este tipo de preguntas son bastante formales. Okay? It's a very formal way to ask for something. Es una manera más educada, por así decirlo, más formal de poder solicitar algo. When we need help. Ah, cuando nosotros ya necesitamos, okay? Ya sea ayuda de algo o con algo. Okay, to do something. So in that case, we use will. So we got some extra examples. Let's look at them. Will the examples. Jorge, tell me a reading. I will change this product. Okay, I will change this product. Okay, the one that we were saying before, right? Probably because the product is damaged, you, you will change it or you will ask for a change. Next example, Natalie. He will buy there again. He will buy there again, okay. 
Why he will buy there again? That's a possibility. Ah, y ahí estamos expresando que una posibilidad. To express what? Ah, que compraría ahí, posiblemente va a comprar a futuro, comprará de nuevo. Over there, right? He will buy there again. Compraría ahí de nuevo. So you see, you're expressing what? You're expressing a possibility in that case. There you go. Now, let's see how we form the negative. In this case, the negative is just by putting the word not. Okay? Para formar el negativo, simplemente colocamos la palabra not después del verbo will. En este caso, recordemos, will es un verbo auxiliar. Okay? Y pertenece a los verbos especiales que son conocidos como moral verbs o verbos modales. Okay? ¿Por qué yo los categorizo como verbos especiales? Porque estos no, remember, estos no se cambian en tercera persona cuando hablamos en presente simple. ¿Qué significa? No agregamos S, ES o IES en tercera persona. ¿Ok? That's the special thing that this type of verb have. ¿Ok? Por eso acá si ven tenemos he would. We don't change would. ¿Ok? And even the will is an auxiliary verb, remembering the case. Ok, entonces acá ya tenemos una, una oración negativa. Aquí lo único que hacemos es contractar will plus not. Ok, and we got wouldn't. The correct pronunciation, listen up. The correct pronunciation of that contraction of will not is wouldn't. Wouldn't. Ok, that is the correct pronunciation. Esa es la pronunciación de la contracción que hacemos entre would y not. Wouldn't. So the example says, we wouldn't stay in this place. Ok. No nos quedaríamos en este lugar. So you see, what are you expressing in that case? Ah, probably you are expressing a possibility. And what is the possibility? That you are no longer staying in one specific place. Then we got a question form. Okay, and let me check who hasn't participated. Vanessa, tell me a reading, Vanessa. Would you give me your information? Aha, uh -huh. and when you say, would you give me your information? What are you expressing in that type of question? En ese tipo de preguntas, ¿qué estamos expresando? Possibility, desire, or formal request? That's for everybody. What formal are we... request? Why, Eric? Why are we expressing a formal request? Is 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 um. No sé cómo le dijera, pero es 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 formal. Is is pero pero cómo se me ha olvidado la palabra. It is formal. Ajá. Ajá. Se me ha olvidado la otra palabra. Pero es una forma. Es, es, es formal. Es una solicitud formal. Ajá. It's a formal way to ask for permission to do something, right? Or when you request something. Ok. Es request. Forma, request. Yeah. Es una forma educada de pedir algo. All right. Very polite. Very formal. There you go. Would you give me your information? ¿Me daría su información personal? Would you give me your information? Okay, why? What do I need for that? I just need your what? And here you say I need your duty from the front and the back, and I will steal your money. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, the possible answer ah for this one. Would you give me your information? You might have yes, of course. I will give my information to you, or I will give you my information. That is a possible answer, right, to this question. Just expressing. But if you're going to make it shorter, just yes, of course, and that's it. That will be everything, okay? Good. This is just using would, okay? Not like pretty fast. Now, how to use would like to? That's pretty different, okay? Would like. When do we use would like, Hilmar? Would like we use would like to say polite, politely 
what we want, especially when making offers and possibility. And possibility. Uh -huh. Possibility. Ah, okay, very good. Listen up. We use would like to say, okay, something very polite, okay? In what aspect? When we want something, okay? It says, especially when we're making offers and possibility. Quick, as some examples in here. And the first example, let's see. Carlos, help me out reading the first example. I would like to change my cell phone. Okay. I would like to change my cell phone. What is that in that case? Are we making offers? Are we making a possibility about something? Or offer. An offer? Offer. Yes. I would like to change my cell phone. Me gustaría cambiar mi celular. Okay, possibility. Ah, so then that's a possibility, right? Why possibility? Okay. Because you got the idea to change one device, okay? So, recuerden, okay. en este caso, la estructura would like to, en este caso, básicamente significa gustaría, okay? En ese caso, va a depender del subject que coloquemos ahí. Si es me gustaría, te gustaría, le gustaría, para él, le gustaría, a ella, nos gustaría, like when we use we, okay, or when we use they, les gustaría. Okay, that's the translation, okay. Good. The second example. Uh, help me out to read this one. Uh, let's see, Jonathan. You would like to help your brother. Okay, you would like to help your brother. Uh -huh. In that case, what we are talking about, uh, we are talking about a possibility, okay? In what aspect? When we make an offer, all right? In that case, when you say like, you would like to help your brother, what are you saying in that case? You are offering help. In this case, in this aspect, is when we ofrecemos nuestra ayuda, okay? Or when we ofrecemos algo. Okay, that it can be help, it can be tuition, you need to talk about money, okay, when you give support, offer support about something, etc. Okay, this is pretty cool. So these, with these two examples, let's move on to uh, some extra examples. These examples that appears in here are the ones that appears on the notebook. I mean, on the book, the one that we were uh, working yesterday. First example. Uh, let me check someone that has not participated yet. Roxana, are you there? Roxana. Uh, I would like to... Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Change. Change this product. Ah, okay, thank you. I would like to change this product. Uh, 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 let's see. Hilmar, how do you say that in Spanish? Exactly, right? Me gustaría cambiar este producto. So what are you doing in that case? You are in a very polite way, okay, to ask for something. Okay, to ask for something. Second example. Hmm, who's that noise? Okay, Diana, read them. Yes. Read the second example, please. He would like to buy there again. Ah, okay. He would like to buy there again. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa en este caso? Ah, a él le gustaría comprar ahí. De nuevo, ok. Te gustaría comprar ahí de nuevo. He would like to buy there again. So, what are we expressing in that case? We are expressing a possibility. Remember. Then we got a next, the next example sentence. 
Let me check who is Ana Garcia. Help me a reading, please. Ana? They, they will. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't, they wouldn't, wouldn't, they wouldn't uh -huh. lie to me to come back, but to come back here, here, ah, okay, there you go, thank you. okay, thank you, Anna, they wouldn't, it's basically what we were discussing in the previous slide, right, es básicamente lo que estábamos explicando anteriormente, ¿En qué aspecto? Que colocamos el not después de would, después del verbo auxiliar. Recordemos que would es un verbo auxiliar y el verbo principal en ese caso es like. Entonces colocamos not entre would y like. All right. So en este caso decimos they wouldn't. Why? Because would not is combined and they make up wouldn't. Okay. So the example says they wouldn't like to come back here. A ellos no les gustaría regresar acá. Okay. In that case, that's the way how we can read this example. Then we have a question. And for the question, I want Mrs. Rutia to read. Hola. Let's read the example. Ah, ok, es que se le corta. Would you like to get a refund? Okay, refund, <laughs> okay, thank you. Would you like to get a refund? What does it mean in that case? Ah, we are asking for a very specific information, right? We are requesting something. In este caso, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Would you like to get a refund? Estamos haciendo un ofrecimiento de algo, okay? ¿Qué puede pasar? In that case, what are we offering? Ah, we are offering a refund in that case. The model of answer? Yes, of course. That will be a model of answer. Ese sería un tipo de respuesta, right? In positive, of course. Yes, of course. Sí, por supuesto. Okay. That is one. There you go, people. Right up to here. Do we have any question? Bien. No nos vamos a detener mucho en estas estructuras porque es algo que casi es lo mismo. Would and would like. What is the difference? Ah, que agregamos like a would. And that's it. Okay. Now, do we have any question related to this? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengamos con relación a would and would like? Before we move on. Antes de movernos. You know, to the next thing. Any question? So we got uh, any question? Ana Maria, Ever, Maritza, Vanessa, Jorge? No. No? Okay. Good. Jennifer, Carla? Any question? No, no teacher, no question. No, okay. Y para el resto que tiene la cámara apagada, no sé si están ahí. Do we have any question? No question. No, no question. No. no teacher. Perfect. Let's guess everything is okay. Let's move on. Ah, I'm going to identify if everything is okay. Well, we've got to work in the manual, okay? Let's open your pages in your manual. In, uh, let me check, 20. Six. Let's use 20. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Get it open up. What am I doing? Now oh, this is number three. Twenty-six. Let's go to it. And twenty-six. We're gonna do that one first, right after the one. In a second, I'm gonna project this this thing over there. There you go. And here we have. Would and would like to. We got some extra examples in here, right? Let's, let's look at them. When we use would by itself and would like to, it's likely the same. 
That's why I was saying that they act the same way. We got, I would like to change this product. Me gustaría cambiar o cambiaría este producto. Okay, en este caso, cambiaría. That's an action in the past. Let's remember. So then we got the ones from who would like to. It says, I would like to change this product. If you see, they got the same structure. Then we got an example. All right, the second example. It says, he will buy there again. He will like to buy there again. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ah, aquí uno dice, he would like to buy there again. Or he would like to buy there again. Ah, le, eh, él compraría ahí de nuevo. The second way, using would like to, dice, a él le gustaría comprar ahí de nuevo. Okay, probably in the future. So it means that person is happy, okay, to buy in that place. Then we got example number three. Okay, and for that example, I want Jennifer to help me a reading. Would like to? Yes, the third example. Using would like, this one, this one, this one. And then, like, and then you read this one. They, would, they wouldn't like to come back here. Ah, ajá, ajá. Pero me va a leer ambos. This one and this uh, one. We wouldn't... We wouldn't... We wouldn't... We uh -huh. wouldn't stay in this place and they wouldn't like to come back here. Now, nah, okay. We wouldn't stay wouldn't. in this place. I uh -huh, wouldn't. We wouldn't mm. stay in this place. Ah, no nos quedaríamos en este lugar. The next one, using would like to. Ah, they wouldn't like to come back here. A ellos no les gustaría regresar aquí. Okay, there you go. And then we got the last one. And the last one is going to help me. Let me check. Ruth, help me out with the last one, please. Um, would you, would you give me your information? Now, nah, okay, would you give me your information? Now, let's read this one. Would you like to get the refund? Refund? Now, refund. Okay. there you go. Would you like to get a refund? ¿Te gustaría o te gustaría uh, tener, obten oh, obtener un reembolso? Ok. Of okay. course. Yeah, right. Of course. So that's just an idea of how to ask these type of questions for very formal requests. Ok. Now, since you told me that you understood everything, ok, let's go to this part. is basically the exercise five, to be specific. It says, complete the following statement or questions. Let's do number one. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Ah, hagamos la número uno. Let's do number one and let's see how it, it is. Dice, I would like to, and then in here, let's put a complement. En esta parte en, eh, del espacio que tenemos ahí, vamos a escribir, ok, un complemento, all right? But you have to pay attention, listen up, you have to pay attention to the questions, ok? Check this out. In here we got a question, in here we got a question, and the rest is negative and positive, ok? Example, in this case, I say, I would like to, so I can, I can put a lot of things in there. One of the things that I can put in here is like, I would like to, I would like to finish. Now, okay, I would like to finish my pizza right now. What happened if I don't finish my pizza? Somebody else is going to eat it. Somebody else is going to eat it, okay? 
So in here we got an example, right? Entonces acá ya tenemos un ejemplo de ellos. ¿Cómo lo vamos a ir haciendo? Un avión, un Mónica. Hey, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. In the number one, I could like to uh, using the maybe taking vacation next week. Where the number one? Uh, in the complement. I would like to taking vacation next week. I would like to take vacation, not take take, take. take vacation. Next week. Next week. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Yes. Yes, okay. it is. Yes, it is. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahí? Vamos a colocar un complemento de acuerdo a nosotros. Okay? Your own complement in that case. To every, to every sentence and question. Okay? Entonces, para cada oración y cada pregunta, ya sea positivo o negativo, siempre vamos a colocar un complemento adicional. Okay? Just to put the, uh, you know, like, like something more specific. So let's start the work and let me know when you finish, please. Just let me know when you finish. Have I done? So let me know when you finish. How about the rest? Is the rest working? Why do you have your cameras off, people? I need most of you to turn on your cameras. I want to see you in action. Now, okay, good. So thanks for the ones who got the cameras on. Teacher in number four. Let me check. Number four. We... Ah, this is a contraction. This is a contracted way of wool. Let me, let me check. I'm going to put it in here. This is like we would. Eso es um, lo que quiere decir. Okay. Ahí está contractada. Okay, thank you. We would. And the number five, world. world. Oh, está mal ah, escrito. Yes, en este caso está mal escrita. Mm -hmm. Five and six. Oh, all right, yeah. She. It will be this way. She wouldn't. Oh. Would you like to? Okay. Let's put it this way. This is the way how they go. Are you about to finish? ¿Por cuál van? ¿Están a punto de terminar? Are you starting?
So just let me know when you finished so we can check the answers. There you go. Eric, do you finish? No? Okay. Let's check. Ever, do you finish? Yeah, teacher. Okay, very good. Jorge, how about you? Do you finish? No. Uh, five and six. Ah, five uh, and six are missing. Okay, let's continue. Thank you. Let me see. Natalie, did you finish? No, teacher, todavía no. Come on, Natalie. Let's put flow on it. Diana, how about you? Qué malo. Ah? Why? Aquí estoy, teacher, todavía sigo. <laughs> okay, okay. Ajá. <laughs> How many are you missing, Diana? ¿Cuántas le faltan? La cuatro y la seis. La cuatro me hace falta a mí. Number four? Is that difficult, number four? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. We would no. like to. We would like to. What would you and your family like to do? For example, in this case, I can take my example, uh, uh, you know, between my wife and me. And we can say, we would like to buy a new house. This is my example. All right. This can be my example. Aha. Uh -huh. Entonces, acá estaría mi ejemplo. Okay, obviamente ustedes me van a escribir otro, right? But I can say, we would like to buy a new house. Ah, nos gustaría comprar una nueva casa. Okay? So that would be one reason. There you go, let's continue. Finish. Nice, Novia. There you go. Remember that everybody can have, you know, different uh, compliments. Just let me know when you finish. <laughs> I was funny. <laughs> What's up, Ana Maria? What was that? <laughs> Finished, teacher. Okay, very good. <laughs> I guess everybody has already finished, right? Good. What are we going to do, people? And let me see. How many are we right now? Hmm. We got 21 people. I only see 21 people. That's excellent. What are we going to do? Let me check how many questions are there. Six. Okay. Three questions each. Let me see. Let me check, let me check. Okay, listen up. I will give one number and don't forget the number, okay? Les voy a dar un número y por favor no olviden ese número porque ese va a ser el número de la oración que me darán, okay? Maritza, number one. Eric, number two. Nubia, number three. Carla, number four. Ever, number five. Fatima, 
number six. Now, Hilmar, number one, Sara, number two, Ana Maria, number three, Jennifer, number four, Jorge, number five, and Jonathan, number six. Diana, number one, Vanessa, number two, Romeo, number three, Ruth, number four, Carlos, number five, and Natalie, number six. Rosa, number one, Stephanie, number two, and Ana Garcia, number three. Okay? Good. You've got those numbers. Now, let's read them. I'm going to start with Maritza. Maritza, can you please read your example? I would like to prepare something special for him. Ah, okay, very good. I would like to prepare something special for him. Good, Maritza. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the best examples I have ever seen about Jesus' womb. Yeah, yes, he saw it. Very good. <laughs> now, Eric. Pero something special, de la. Yeah, <laughs> man. Come on, just... man. It, it might be about food. Especially <laughs> food. Right, Maritza? No. Bye, ya ve. Tengo la razón. Okay. Eh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eric, hoy es, es martes. Ya le va a caer la isla. La maldición. La, la maldición gitana, Eric. Compóngase. No, pero esa sí. era lunes. What is that? ¿Qué es ah, eso? Creo que no la sabe, Ticha. No, I don't know it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, for real, I don't know what is that. <laughs> no creo. Yes, man, I'm, I'm too innocent. Ah, pues soy santo yo. Pues sí, este... <laughs> Hey, why don't you believe me? Hey, que, 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 eso sí es ser malo. Pero anyway, ok, leave it like that, leave it like that. La maldición gitana, quien toma el lunes, toma toda la semana. ¿va? Ah, ok. Hoy es martes. Ya, Pero un día después, un día después no le afecta, Eric. Uno <laughs> no es ninguno. That's, that, that's what happened, I don't drink. That's why. <laughs> that's the reason why. Ajá. Uh -huh. There you go. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Maritza. Okay. Now, Eric, read your example. Uh, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't take a new credit card. Ah, okay. There you go. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't take any other car. Okay, good. There you go. Uh, Nubia? <coughs> yes, teacher. Will she go to the beach? Will she go to the beach? Okay, very good. There you go. Carla. We'd like to start with a, a fetish day. Um, no, it's a petty. Pardon, it's, we'd like to start with a petty say. Appetizer, you mean? Appetizer. Aperitivo, okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Very good. Ever? She wouldn't go to the after party. <laughs> okay. Good, she wouldn't go right after. Okay, uh, to the after party. Nice. Fatima? Would you like to go to the mountain? No, I wouldn't like to go to the mountain because I live in the mountain. <laughs> good, Fatima. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. That was a good one. Helmer, let's read. I would like to travel to Cuba. Cuba. Cuba is in Spanish. Cuba in English. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Would you like to travel to Cuba? Huh. Yes, I would like to travel to Cuba. Not for 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 any other things, but for 
I don't know, like medicine. I mean, there are very good doctors over there, right? Okay, cool. Thank you, Hilmar. Now, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sara? Um, Mr. Zrujicio, uh, greetings. My dinner tonight. Uh, let's read again, Sara. Let me check. Mr. Um, Dio wouldn't. Uh -huh. Make dinner tonight. Ah, uh, wouldn't make the dinner tonight. Ah, uh, okay, good. <laughs> I was, I was, I was not listening. I was not listening to the verb, but uh, now I did it. Thank you, Sara. Now, Ana Maria. Oh, Mrs. Maria. Uh, would would she eat hamburguesas? <laughs> come on, Ana Maria. How can you come? Ah, ya terminé. Adiós, adiós, teacher. Ya, ya lo dije. Ham hamburgers. I mean, you were supposed to be <laughs> stuck with what? With that very simple word. Uh huh. Okay. I'll buy that. Hmm. There you go. Ya sé quién me va a repetir el módulo. Okay. Jonathan. Ya sabe que le dije que no sé si voy a estar el otro módulo. Ah, that's why you're very rebelled. Ah. Ahorita, ahorita todavía no sabemos. Rebeldía pura por eso. Hmm. Okay. No, no. <laughs> okay, Ana María. Let's see, Jonathan, let's read your example. Would you like to repair my cell phone? Nah, okay, very good. Would you like to repair my cell phone? Okay, very good. Jorge? And the number five. Yeah, I mean, the one I told you, Jorge. Okay. Number... <laughs> I don't remember what number I told you. But... Yeah, number five. Okay, okay, go for it. You could not go on a trip without me. <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm. Hey, you're very possessive, man. Yeah, is it true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's the way. In permiso. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine Fatima has a boyfriend like that, and she's like, ah, hey baby, I'm going to where? To Guatemala. Next week, it was like, you are, you wouldn't go to Guatemala without me. Huh? No, it does see me. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Okay, good. Nice one. Diana. I would like to travel around the world. <laughs> okay, good. I would like to travel too, but without spending my money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would be better, right? Okay, Diana, very good. Roxana, let's read your example. She, Maria, she will make lasagna. Ah, uh, you're talking about number five, uh, Roxana? No, uh, okay, okay, okay. Seria, uh, work you like to Disney, Disneyland? Repeat again, Roxana. Would you like to Disneyland? Eh, es como te gustaría ir a Disneyland. Okay, I, that would be like, would you like to go to Disneyland? Actually, in, in English, it's not Disneyland, it's Disneyland. Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, because Disney, that's in Spanish, supposedly, and uh, in English is Disney. Disney. Yeah. There you go. Okay, that was an, uh, something extra, right, Roxana? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember I gave a different number. Okay, Vanessa, let's read the example from the number I gave you. Okay, number two. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't buy a new shoes. Buy a new... Okay, a new shoes or a new pair of shoes? A new uh, pair of shoes. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? 
We wouldn't like to have pets at home. Ah, uh, repeat again. I didn't listen. We wouldn't. We wouldn't like to have pets at home. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good example, teacher. Yeah, I mean the science teacher. There you go. Ah, yeah, mi Ana Maria has already participated. Uh, Jonathan to Romeo. ¿Dónde está que no lo veo? Let's turn on your camera, Romeo. I want to see you speaking. There you go. Let's read your example. Uh, word number three. Okay, would, go for it. Where you go is fine on vacation. Uh, let me see. You said number three, right? Okay. Will she? Will she go? Uh huh. To Spain on vacation. Ah, to Spain. Come on. Will she go to Spain on vacation? Give me a second. I'm gonna write it down for you, Romeo. Give me a second. It's like like this. Will she go? My God. Will she go? to oh my god to spain on vacation there you go this is the way you have it romeo okay will she go to spain on vacation okay there you go thank you romeo for your example let me see ruth Let's read your example. Uh, we'd like to swim with the wallet. Uh, ah, number four, right? We'd like to swim with the wallets, with the whales, uh -huh. actually. Uh -huh. Nos gustaría nadar con ballenas. Con ballenas, <laughs> with whales. And the special part, right? When they open the mouth and they swallow you. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, I would prefer to, to, to swim with dolphins. <laughs> Les tendría menos miedo. <laughs> okay. Very good, good, Ruth. Very good. Let's see. Carlos, let's read your example. Number five. Uh-huh. She wouldn't want to walk to work. Ah, okay. She wouldn't want to walk to work. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Natalie. A mí me tocó la aceite. Ah, okay. Uh, would you like to go out to exercise? Would you like to go to? Exercise. Would you like to go to exercise? Okay. Or would you like to go to do exercise? Or would you like to do exercise? Okay. Every way is possible. Thank you, Natalie. Rosa. Let's read, Rosa. Rosa. Are you there? I don't know why, but I think Rosa is, is going through what Jennifer went through yesterday. <laughs> she fell asleep. Okay. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible because she doesn't answer and she got the camera off. Ah, oh, people, that's why I don't want you to turn off your cameras because I don't see what you're doing. Mrs. Hmm. Surutia, let's read. Your example. My example is Hugo. Uh, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't like to Chinese school. No, okay. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't like, in that case, to eat Chinese food. That would be because you need a bird. Okay. Okay. There you go. 
Nice. And the last one, Ana Garcia. Would she send the email? Uh, let's repeat again, Ana. I didn't listen. Would she uh -huh. send the email? Ah, okay. Would she send the email? Very good. There you go. Uh, did someone is missing, people? Is someone that may, might be uh, missing? Roxana, did you participate already? Because I don't remember. Yo participé en esa, teacher. Ah, okay, nice. Thank you for uh, telling me, Roxana. Okay, people, listen up. Let's remember that with this type of a structure, okay, what we generally use is just would in one way or would like to. Okay, when we use would, it's slightly similar to would like to. What is the only difference? That one is making more polite the question or the sentence. When we use would like to, is something that refers to, 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 to a softer idea about what you want to do, okay? Es básicamente cuando hablamos de una manera un tanto más... How can I say this? Educada, apacible, or yeah, like formal in a somehow to ask for things, de pedir las cosas, okay? Or request the things in this case. How come? It's like, would you like, would you like to cover my class? Ah, so that's a very polite way to say, you know, like, can you cover my class? So this is like kind of less polite, right? Entonces ahí estamos hablando ya de una manera un tanto más formal o educada, expresando cierto grado de, you know, like politeness, ¿ok? Cuando solicitamos las cosas, ¿ok? When do we use that? ¿Cuándo podemos usarlas en contexto? Ah, cuando necesitamos solicitar algo bien formal a nuestros jefes, right? A alguien superior a nosotros, que de cierta manera eh, denotamos un grado de respeto, to say it like that, ¿ok? Para ponerla en ese contexto. That's the way. And obviously we can use it, okay, when we talk about possibilities about us. Y pues obviamente también lo ocupamos para posibilidades de algo que nos suceda a nosotros o nos vaya a suceder, okay? O querramos que suceda. There you go. Uh, do you have any question related to this? Bien. ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a esta estructura de would and would like to? Something that might not be clear for you people? Nothing to share? Mm, okay. Yeah. Now what is like too talkative now? It's funny to see your faces. Qué divertido es cuando pregunto, ah, is everything clear? Do you have any question? Y todos así como que, no es a mí. <laughs> que conteste <otro. laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> but it, but it's, it, it's okay, okay? If you don't have any question, that's, that's, that's okay. It's good because I believe that everything it's okay. Really. I would like to sleep right now. And and I would like you to do the homework and pay attention the last minutes. Why no? I know. Ha, a rebel person. Okay. So if you don't have, as I told you, if you don't have any other question, we're gonna keep the class right up here. Okay. And we're gonna continue tomorrow with another video conference. Just give me a second, people. I'm gonna pass the attendance list, okay? Before we leave. Just give me a second, okay? Just give me a second. I need to, to do something. Eric. Casi que ya Hola. lo veo en el, en el mundo de los sueños. Sí, haciendo, haciendo un esfuerzo sobrenatural por no dormirme. Mire, ¿y por qué, y por qué se quiere dar la fuga usted el otro, el otro módulo? 
No, lo que pasa que todavía dependo, porque como yo les contaba el otro día de que este, eh, ya van a cambiar la hora en Estados Unidos, entonces yo voy a empezar a salir a las nueve de la noche. Ah, ok. Yeah, that's true, right? That's why you told me, that's true. Yo, And now I remember. Pero yo todavía tenía... queda todo octubre o no, noviembre. Ya yeah, está el day. day. That's on, on November, right? The first week of November. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yo tenía exactly. dos hipótesis. Una, porque ya no aguantaba al teacher, como al usted teacher. siempre ha dicho. <laughs> el, el, el de I no know. Más. I know. Que, listen, I know. She cannot, de módulo, she can, pienso que ya no va a estar él. She cannot live without me. Ha, ha. <laughs> Y la eh, eh, de number two es porque ya no está Salvador, dije yo, quizá. Ah, another one. Ok, good. No, ahorita estoy viendo Let's a ver qué me dice. Es que Ana Claribel. Sin comentarios. Okay. Ana María. Present. Ok, good. Carlos Ademir. Present, dicho. Ok, nice. Let's say. Eric Guillermo. Present. Good. Ever de Jesús. Present. Thank you. Fátima Alejandra. Present, teacher. Nice. Gilmar Cruz. Present. Ok. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Hey, Jonathan, now we have the 10 minutes feedback, ok? So let's stay right with me right after class. Uh, Jorge Elvir. Present. Good. Carla Benacer. Present teacher. Good. Margot Hernández. It's not here. Maritza Alcira. I'm here teacher. There you go. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Very nice. Romeo Alexis. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen. <laughs> okay. Present. Uh, hi Rosa. Hi. Yeah, yeah, she's still there. <laughs> okay, good. Let me check. Ruth, Joanna. In present. Okay, good. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Ah, okay, good. And then we got Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Very good. William is not here. Let me see. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, good. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Very nice. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, great. And we got the last one, Diana Gabriela. Diana, are you there? Okay, I think not just not there. I just I I can just see the 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 roof. Okay, anyways. All right, people. If we don't have any other question, listen, listen. Before we go, antes de irnos, listen. Mañana básicamente terminamos eh, con mm -hmm. la semana dos. Okay. Mañana terminamos con la semana dos. ¿Qué significa esto? Significa que mañana tienen todo el día, ok, todo el día para poder hacer el midterm o el examen de medio curso. Por favor, quiero que para mañana, a más tardar en la noche, ok, ya después de clase, en la noche, ese examen ya esté elaborado. Hay algunos que todavía me deben inclusive tareas de la semana pasada. Listen up. No es por presionarlos, pero if you continue this way, o sea, vamos a tener ahí un par de dificultades. O sea, no, no, no with me, obviously. Casi va a sacar pero, el sí. Pero, pero, eh, no, la cosa es que pues cuando las, el personal de Insafor ve ese tipo de, de, de situaciones en las que no se han completado tareas, o sea, lo que van a pensar es que, ah, entonces no le interesa continuar, o cómo vamos acá. Entonces, 
for the ones who owe me homework, please do it. Ok. Entonces, para mañana, ya les aceptaría que solamente les haga falta la tarea hasta la tarea, ¿qué? Solo la tarea 10, porque sería de la clase de mañana. Que eh, por uh -huh. cierto va a ser like full feedback, ¿ok? Pero ya mañana, a más tardar a finalizar la clase, después de clase, yo esperaría hasta, ¿qué? Antes de medianoche, para que de la tarea 6 a la 10 ya esté completa en la plataforma, ¿ok? Y también el examen de medio curso, que es el midterm, que aparece en la section 2, abajito de la section 2, en la plataforma, ¿ok? Así que espero su colaboración, people. I know you can do it. And you will do it, okay? And and I will thank you in advance, okay? I try. I'll try. I'll try. Okay. There you go. Entonces, let's see you tomorrow, people, in the last video conference from this week number two, okay? Bye bye. Have a wonderful bye -bye. night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Yeah. See you, teacher. See you. See you, man. Hey, Jonathan, stay with me. No se me vaya a ir. No se vaya a ir. <risa> Quieren aquí otra vez. Bye, güey. <risa> See you. See you. Bye, bye. Bye, Ruth. And bye, the baby. <risa> bye, chiquitín. <risa> ok, there you go. Ok. All right, Jonathan. What are we going to do? We're going to have, you know, like the 10 minutes, ok, of feedback. Just to clarify any idea, any doubt, any question that you might have from this topic and the previous topic. Básicamente vamos a usar estos 10 minutos para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener sobre este tema y los anteriores. So, I'm all ear, Jonathan. Bueno, sobre este tema, would, would, would like to... No es tanto así lo, lo que significa, sino que ya contractarlo o, o jugar con ya haciendo los verbos, no, lo que nosotros tenemos que hacer. Ajá. Ya, ya es lo que cuesta un poco. Ajá, sí, porque en este, bueno, en este caso, eh, digamos que dependiendo de lo que usted quiera eh, hablar o decir en la oración, Así va a ser el verbo que, que usted va a usar. ¿Va? Por ejemplo, si tenemos will por sí solo, ¿ok? Si tenemos will en un espacio por sí solo, ¿ok? Y en otro espacio acá tenemos would like to. Bien. Con will, recordemos, aquí, dependiendo, como le digo, de la acción que queramos mencionar, así va a ser el tipo de verbo que vamos a usar, ¿ok? Si yo digo, I would. Ok, I will do the dishes uh, early. I will do the dishes early. Ah, lavaría los platos temprano. Ok, you see. Entonces, en este caso acá, do the dishes es como lavar los platos. That's what it means. Ok, entonces acá, como le mencionaba, dependiendo de la acción, Así va a ser el verbo que usted va a necesitar. Por ejemplo, I will buy that cell phone. Compraría ese celular. She will uh, what? do the homework. Ah, ella haría la tarea. Ok. He will work extra hours. Ah, él trabajaría horas extras. You see? Entonces, dependiendo de lo que nosotros queramos decir, ese es el verbo que va a colocar después de would. ¿Ok? En este caso. Ahora, ¿cómo uh, uh, usarlo con would like to? Ah, con would like to, ya yeah, ahí es como el gustaría. ¿Ok? Esa sería como la expresión, gustaría. I would like to go out. Ah, me gustaría salir. I would like to go out. Check this out. You would like to eat 
pizza, por ejemplo. Ah, ¿te gustaría comer pizza? She would like to go to Europe. Ah, a ella le gustaría ir a Europa. So you see, entonces ahí, dependiendo de la acción que usted quiera realizar, es el verbo que vamos a colocar. ¿Ok? Bien. Estas solo son oraciones en positivo, claro. Ok, pero sí me gustaría que por lo menos me diera una con would, dependiendo de la acción que quiera mencionar, y una con would like to, eh, de manera positiva. I would... I will repair my cell phone. Okay, I will. I will. Ah, okay, very good. I will repair my cell phone. That's one one, right? And that is correct. Now, give me one using would like to. I yeah. will like, I will like to. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. me gustaría. I would like to watch TV. <laughs> I would like to watch TV. Ah, okay, very good. I would like to watch TV. There you go. Entonces, acá ya tenemos una oración usando would like to de manera correcta. Recordemos que después del would like to, eh, eh, la siguiente palabra, después del to, tiene que ser el verbo que indica la acción. Y luego un pequeño complemento. Que en este caso el verbo que usted puso es watch y luego TV. I would like to watch TV. I would like to watch Netflix. I would like to watch an action movie. ¿Ok? Y ahí podríamos ir eh, eh, hablando sobre el tipo de, 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 de cosas que queremos hacer. ¿Ok? Ya. Yeah. Ahora bien, ¿cómo hacer negativos? Si usa el will not. O acá... Will not like. Esto es para formar negativos. I will not like. You know. I will not like. Mm, let's play something. Let's, let's do something. I will not like. Something easy. I will not like. The, the homework. Oh, oh. So in that case, it will be I would. This way, like to do the. Okay, give me a second. I wouldn't do the homework this way. Ahora, Usando will not like. Check this out. You might say, you will not like to eat hamburgers. Ah, or you wouldn't, wouldn't. Okay, give me a second. Wouldn't like to eat hamburgers. You see, I will not like to do the homework. Es lo mismo o la forma separada. I wouldn't do the homework. Ya es la forma contractada. Que ya iba unido el would y el not. Wouldn't. En uno solo. Para crear esa oración en negativo. Al igual que acá, mire. Acá llevamos. You will not like to eat hamburgers. Ah, no te gustaría comer hamburguesas. You wouldn't like to eat hamburgers. Give me a second. The M is missing. En este caso, ¿qué hacemos? Solo unir el would y el not. ¿Ok? Would y not y ya tenemos wouldn't. Esto ya es para oraciones negativas. Ajá. Exacto. Right. Ahora bien, para preguntas, for questions. Will you go to oh something easier will you dance with me bailarías conmigo will you dance with me 
Ah, aquí estamos ahí haciendo una formal request, una solicitud formal de algo a alguien. ¿Ok? So, esa persona le puede decir, yes, of course. ¿Ok? Ese sería un modelo de respuesta para esa persona a la que usted le puede preguntar. Y obviamente responde de manera afirmativa. Otra. Would you like? Would you like to? Let's say open the door for me. Give me a second. There you go. Would you like to open the door for me? ¿Te gustaría abrir la puerta eh, por mí? ¿Ok? Usted puede poner right away. Enseguida. ¿Ok? Esta es como una forma de contestar de una manera afirmativa. ¿Ok? De una manera afirmativa. So you see? Entonces acá ya tenemos las tres formas. Son oraciones positivas, oraciones negativas, usando el will not que ya unido es wouldn't y utilizando preguntas, ¿ok? Aquí ambas preguntas están en primera persona, son directamente hacia la persona, ¿ok? So, I don't know, Jonathan, if you have any question with this. No sé si tiene alguna duda adicional con respecto a este tema. Ahorita no, pues podemos aclarar cualquier duda. Está bien, está claro. Nah, ok, very good. Eh, con relación a los otros temas, eh, Jonathan, ¿cómo andamos? Pues... ¿Alguna pregunta con relación a esos otros temas? Um... No, pues sí, sí. No tengo. No, no, ok, good. Con las tareas, Jonathan, how are we with that? Ah, you're about to finish? Solo todas nos faltan. Hola? Solo todas nos faltan. And when are you going to start doing it, Jonathan? Ah, ok, ok. Ya, yeah, because for tomorrow, porque sí, porque para mañana igual tendríamos también el, el, el examen de medio curso, que es el midterm, que aparece en la sección de la unidad 2. Ok, entonces, y pues tendría que también, y, digamos, a hacerse mañana. Ok, a más tardar. Ajá, puede ser durante el día, ok, o puede ser igual después de clase. ¿Por qué? Porque no, igual... Ahorita. Ah, perfecto. Sí, porque ahorita, igual me, ahorita, me, ahorita. Me, ajá, me gustaría ya tener también sus notas junto con las de los demás, ya para el día de mañana ya tener las eh, notas de tarea 1, eh, de la semana 1 y notas de semana 2 también. ¿Ok? Just, just, okay. just for, for you go on track. Simplemente para ir ahí en sintonía todos juntos. ¿Ok? okay. All right, Jonathan. Si no tenemos más que agregar entonces... Los vemos mañana en la última videoconferencia de eh, la semana, ¿ok? Y luego el jueves ya iniciar otra, ¿ok? okay. There you go. Good night, Jonathan. Good night. Ok, bye bye.